Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to give you a couple of quick tips when working with model states, specifically trying to create a substitute model state using the simplify command. I'm going to make an assumption though that people are at least at this point pretty familiar with model states and that you've at least seen or worked a little bit with the simplify command. I'm not going to cover those in great detail. I'm instead going to focus mostly on the tip. And this tip will prove useful if you're like me, where often I have to create models that have to go into Revit, or maybe I'm creating factory assets, or creating models that go into Plant 3D for process and piping. This is going to be a great way to create very simple shapes and give great control over them. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new substitute model state using the Simplify tool. And right away, we can see that uh, we get the full-on design, but there's a really helpful set of tools called the envelopes. And if I click on the envelope, what it basically does is it replaces the items that are there with a simple shape. I kind of call this gross simplification. And we can control that at a number of levels. We can do like an all-in-one box. We can do it via sub-assemblies, or we can do it via parts. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to the subassembly because I don't need to see all those electrical components inside. But even though I'm using the envelopes to simplify the design, I still retain the capability of removing unnecessary components. So, for example, you'll see that there are foam blocks and there are little fasteners. So I can do this by the traditional method, which is just selecting them. There go my foam blocks. I can also exclude parts by size. And if you see uh, whatever your size range is, two inches should be sufficient. You can see that it re removed all those little fasteners. So you can either be selective by clicking on them or use your exclude by size. So everything else is exactly the same. The naming, the uh, preserving the state if you want. And in fact, this is a great tool if you want to preserve it for say LOD 200 or 300 if you're working with Revit users. But I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay and complete the simplification. So what you can see is by removing the fasteners and the foam block, I'm left with a very simplified representative shape. And really quickly doing a half section cut, I can see that it solid filled it just as desired. So it's a very useful tool combining the envelopes with the ability to be very particular about the simplified shapes that get generated, removing the fasteners, foam, any pieces that you don't want to see. So that's it. Relatively quick hitting tip today. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know below and have a blessed day.